I'm Jesse Murf and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Jesse Murph. Jesse, welcome. Yes, thank you. So we're gonna do Hollywire first. Um, what is the first time have you ever said I love you? I have. What was what was that like? Was the first um, time? It was like, I feel like somebody said it to me and I was like, oh, I love you too, bro. Not bro. You said bro? <laughs> I did not say bro. <laughs> but it's just one of those things that's like, I'm not gonna not say it, you know? What was your first heartbreak? It's, okay, so I had like this ongoing relationship with this dude that literally like just now ended. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. No, Is that the good. guy who said I love you bro too? Oh no. Did it end because you called him bro? <laughs> no, it did not, bro. <laughs> it was one of those things we broke up like four different times. So it didn't hurt like last time because I was like, whatever. Have you ever embarrassed yourself in front of like a paparazzi, a fan, or maybe not like just in love? <laughs> like what was one of your most embarrassing moments? <laughs> yes, okay. So this is so embarrassing. Oh my God. I literally have told like no one this. Oh, so I was at a studio and this dude, this artist was coming and he's like around my age and I was like nervous. Me. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> No, bro, I was just nervous to meet him, okay? And um, his like manager walked in first, and I shook his hand, okay? And then the artist comes behind him, and I'm like, I'm a hugger. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I wanna die, I'm just think about that. That's so bad. Did he hug you? Yes. Back? But like, they watched me shake the other dude's hand and then say, I'm a hugger. Oh my God. So I love sobriety. I've been listening to the song nonstop. Can you tell me about what the inspiration was behind it? I wrote sobriety. The day I wrote sobriety, I was just feeling really like anxious about everything and I have like social anxiety. Social anxiety. So is that something that you deal with on a daily basis? Yes. How do you cope with it? Um, it differs, but honestly music really helps me. Like that's why I wrote sobriety. But yeah, it's something that I deal with and I feel like a lot of people deal with anxiety in general. Yes. And it's something that's not talked about enough. And so sobriety in the sense of like, no drugs, no alcohol. Oh no, it's the opposite. Oh, the opposite, okay. <laughs> yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> and how did you get into the music industry? What was like your big break or what brought you into this world? Honestly, take talk, bro. That's TikTok. okay. Yeah, yes. I was gonna ask you about that because your very first song that you put on TikTok, you didn't have the full song yet, right? It was mm -mm. just that clip. No, literally, I was just sitting in my room and I was like, mad about some boy and I sang that and then it like blew up so I finished the song on like a ski trip. What? I know it that I put it out but that's crazy. Yep. That is Wild. so nuts and what's that boy up to now? Honestly I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who it was about. Does he know the song's about him? Probably not. Probably not yet. And he's yeah. not going to find out. <laughs> so how did you go from having a song blow up on TikTok to like now having songs out there in the world to live shows all that stuff? What was the moment for you where that all changed? Honestly, after I put out Upgrade, I feel like. Yeah. I put out Upgrade and people started reaching out. Um, and then I signed with Columbia. Congratulations. Thank you. That's huge. I'm super happy with them and just everything that's going on. And I feel like that honestly was the point that kind of expanded things. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And have you always been writing music? Have, has that always been what you wanted to do with your life? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I literally have like journals from when I was like 11. Just pages and pages of me being like, I will be a singer. Like, I think I manifested it, bro. You definitely did, because <laughs> here you are. You are a singer now. Yeah, what you know. would you say is like the most unexpected artist that you like that maybe fans would be intrigued to know that you were a fan of them? Hmm. Probably like, I don't even know, bro. <laughs> Probably like Cheryl Crow. I feel like yeah, that's. that's Throwback, kind of, yeah. That is my shit, bro. Um, and speaking of other artists, do you have any, is there anyone that you would like, let's manifest something right here, is there like a dream collab, someone that you would just love to work with? Mm, dream collab? Yeah. Probably like Lil Baby. I'm a Lil Baby stan, bro. Okay. I love him. All right, all He's right. so good. Yeah. Uh, any, do you think you'd ever cover any songs in mm. your career? Honestly, I don't know. There's a lot of songs, especially like, I love, singing dude songs. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I don't know, sometimes like the perspective they have, I like more. Uh, is there any song in particular you think you could, you'd want to cover? Do you know the song, Rockstar by Post Malone? Yeah. Oh, I love that song. That would be great. I would love to hear you sing that. Oh my God, I love it. Gotta do it. Um, I love that one and then like, The Hills by The Weeknd. Mm -hmm. Just anything super like dark. I love minor chords. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse, thank you so much. This has been so fun. Thanks for having me. Oh my so God, much anytime, anytime. <laughs>